through this process. So when you look at the functions, right, we have, we have head of company, we've got marketing, we've got R&D, sales, operations, money, IT, HR, talent development, customer advocacy, and onboarding. All right. All of those functions are in any business that you guys do. And if you're just by yourself, guess what? You're either doing those things or you're not that you should be or somebody should be. And when you go through this exercise, you put the person accountable to the results. So head of company is tied to core capital and pre-tax profit. And so you look at, you know, are you being held accountable to those results or, or who is? Okay, so that's where um, I want you guys to kind of, kind of look at this is that the, the exercise is that if you've got a team and you've got people, you have them go through and they, and they fill it out with what they believe is who is accountable for it, right? The one exercise is that you can't have two names in the box. Only one name because there's only one person ultimately accountable, right? Oprah. One person ultimately responsible for the activity. It's on your board, right? Yeah, so I noticed when I walked into to their office, right up on their whiteboard, he had Oprah. He had it written right there. So remembering only one person ultimately responsible to each of these functions. Now, you get down into, this is why, um, I, I'll share this with you because um, this is really where it gets into business units, right? We have units within, especially if you are running a team with independent agents and also maybe focusing on EXP growth, right? They're all kind of separate and somebody has to be responsible for it. And that's where you can, that's where you can start pointing fingers, right? So that's why I always push on Matt and DJ, all right? Deej, what are you responsible for? He's like, man, I got production, I own the team. Matt, what are you responsible for? Growing EXP. So there's the clear separation and we just have to figure out how we're gonna measure outcome. How, how would we measure success? Um, a, a, so like for these guys, they've got, um, so for these guys, they have Perry Group Local, they have pods, so they have people spread out throughout Utah Somebody has to own agent attraction and they already made a hire. <laughs> they already made a hire here for agent attraction. And then events, they wanted to really go full throttle with events. So we have to get clear on who owns, who owns what. And then the thing is, is that you've got to, um, who are your key te team, right? Who is your key people? And, and what I would say for Jackie, for a great example, is that Jackie has, an assistant, but she also has key leaders, right? Who do you do your coaching and training with? Who does our coaching and training? Yeah, who do you do? Who do you? Yeah, with the Wolfpack, yeah, you and weekly, Kelsey Wozniak, Nicole Ward, Ryan. So we do a ten-week series, but I have a different person teach a different section of yep. it because then all the agents get to know other leaders within our group. But that's her key core team, right? They don't fit on the, on the org chart, but those are key team members. So you gotta keep in mind who those key people are. And then getting real clear on who your next hires are. Who are your next hires? So I'll share this with you guys. There's some great, uh, there's an example there. And so like what I like to do is, um, this is old, this hasn't been updated. I'll share this with you guys though. So when you go through and you put all of the, all of the things in the box, what I always like to do is um, highlight who needs to get the hell out of that box. <laughs> like quickly, like get me the hell out of there. Get them out of there, right? Get those people out of those boxes as fast as possible. And that helps us get clear on the next, who the next key hires are. So when you go through that functional accountability chart, we want to look at it in, in a couple ways, right? So we want to look at it how it is, as it is. And then you look back and say, okay, one, do we need to be concerned with anything? 
Are we concerned that we're in too many boxes and that's going to be a, a choke point in us executing the plan? Do we need to do any, any special training for the people we have? Do we need to, you know, install a new program in them? Right? Remember, we want batteries included, but sometimes that battery is a little low. Half charged. Half charged. <laughs> right? So we need, to, what, 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 what batteries do we need to maybe install? Can we perform, what, who can perform what functions and what does the team look like? Right? So that's, that's how it is. And then do we have enough hu human resources to hit our targets and deliver the experience we want? So think about that two things, right? Can we get the results we want, but can we also deliver the experience? So you take like Dan's organization, Dan's thinking about, okay, here's my promise. Do I have any concerns on to be able to deliver on the promise? And then do I have to, the people in place to make sure we can deliver on the experience? So Dan does a, a, a training on Thursdays. We do, we do a training on Thursdays. And, you know, it's like, hey, <laughs> you know, I need to have these people in here. I need to coach these people up to deliver on the experience. We were talking about it at lunch, right? Got a key, couple of the key leaders that need to, hey, we need to up to not, not necessarily deliver on the promise, but help on the experience. That's where the lifetime value comes in, right? It's, it's how they feel through the process with you. That's why we're always like so important with your, with your vendors, how important it is. And so you guys met Mayhew last night. So Mayhew was our, he was our, he, he worked for Bank of America. 3,500 a month we were collecting from them. They were paying us. Horrible. Not that he was horrible, but it was just a horrible product. We ended up letting him go. 3,500 a month, Lawton, Oklahoma, right? This was when average sales price was 120 or less. Mm -hmm.